how to use calendly calendly beginners tutorial hi guys welcome back today i am going to show you how to use calendly.com so let's get started what you have to do is simply come to calendly.com and you will land on this platform right here calendly is your hub for scheduling meetings professionally and efficiently eliminating the hassle of back and forth emails so you can get back to work so calendly is very easy to use very beginners friendly and allows you to increase your productivity and to manage your team better how to sign up for calendly it's very easy all you have to do is click on get started and then you can sign up with your google account calendly will actually ask for your permission to connect to your google calendar as well so that calendly can serve you better it has different features and pricing plan so let's go to pricing plan really quickly so you have an idea about the affordability so you can see right here these are the different pricing plans for calendly the first plan is eight dollars then we have a professional plan which is twelve dollars and then we have a sixteen dollar plan but there is a free plan available for people like me who can actually enjoy the you know calendly for free as some people you know like to use free stuff so you can go for a free plan as well so once you have selected a plan, you can go for either a plan or for free, simply sign up. Once you sign up, this is where you will land. This is the dashboard for Calendly.com. So let's get started and check out different features that we are going to get in our Calendly so this is the dashboard right uh, you will see the options right here uh, my calendly right event types then we have the scheduled events if you have any scheduled events they will be shown right here in this option then we have the workflows and above the screen you will see the home availability integrations and then help and account of course in integrations you can actually go ahead and integrate uh, other apps as well for example you can integrate your google calendar you can integrate it with your clickup with your asana with your trello any other project management software you want to integrate it with so uh, let's click on create and let me show you how you actually create an event uh, on calendly so simply click on event type and it will actually take you to your template where you will be able to create your own event now you have different options to create a new event one on one that means you will just invite one person to meet with you and you will create an event then we have the group event of course that will help you invite multiple uh, people to your meeting and then there is collective that means that you can host an event with other people as well like there will be more than one host and then we have round robin which is create an event that cycles between multiple hosts so that are different options that we are get uh, in the free version you have two options one on one and grip so i am going with one on one and simply click on create now i have to add the event name so this is going to be my meeting so i'm going to call it important meeting okay uh, and after that location so now i can add location and in location i can actually go ahead and in person if it's an in person meeting now these are different options that is why calendly is really amazing and it becomes really easy for you to manage uh, your meetings you can add an address if it's an in person meeting for example i'm sending an invite for the meeting that is going to be held in my office it's an in person meeting so i will add the address of course for the person i am sending it to other than that if it's not an in-person meeting as most of the meetings are now virtual meetings and we do them online so you can go ahead and add a phone if it's a phone call you will be able to add your call right here then you can go for you can add the uh, google meet you can go for a zoom you have microsoft teams you have webex you have custom you have go to meeting as well so these are the different options you can add i can simply go for zoom maybe and i will simply add it right here and what i have to do is now i have to integrate as i told you you can add different integrations to your calendly you will integrate your zoom to your uh, calendly 
or for now i can simply go with google meet and i will update it because i have already connected my google account so now i don't have any problem right but you can go ahead and add your webex maybe other platforms as well now i have to add the instructions so for instruction let's just add so i have added keep the notes with you for the instruction that i am going to send and after that now i have an important uh, my event link will be created with the event name that is important meeting right and then i have my own link that has been created will be created when i will click on next and my link will be created and the color for my event you can see right here it has this color that will be shown on my calendly so if i want to change the color of course uh in order to you know keep your uh, events organized and to manage them well we change the colors so you can go for different colors for each event for now let's go with a pink color for this one and i will simply click on next now i can add more details for example range date what is the date for this one these are going to be business days right here business days means that the weekends will be you know um cut off between these within a date range indefinite into the future if you want to add uh you know if you want to schedule them and let them know that what are the different you know days so these are are, i'm gonna go with five business days so it's a really you know urgent meeting so i have to do it now let's just say that okay and then duration what is going to be the duration for the meeting and it is going to be a custom i'm going with a two hours because two hours was not given so now i have two r okay then we have how do you uh, want to offer your availability for this event use an existing schedule set custom hours now what i can do is i can go ahead and schedule this one with my different event types right i can go ahead and you know offer my availability for this one so i'm going with a existing schedule i'm not going with the custom hours okay and then we have the uh, of course we have the uh you know time that what is going to be the time so time is going to be monday and uh, so i am unavailable on sunday because these are the i have selected the business days right so i am uh, i will be unavailable on sunday and saturday so this person will be you know notified that these are the business days and this is the my working time i have added this uh before so uh, they will be notified so this is actually a um, great i'm not going to change anything after that want to add time before your event so i am going with a before event so that the other person is notified 10 minutes before the event that is okay and then i will simply go for next now my meeting is ready you can see important meeting this is the name right is ready to accept events now i can go ahead and add different options as well so this is actually amazing on calendly we get different options uh, to kind of you know play with i can go with a confirmation page i can go with the collect payouts uh, after the e meeting you know and i can go with uh, the question as well if uh, they have any question if they they want to ask i will allow them to do so so i can add these informations as well and this is the link for my meeting that has been created now i can go ahead and go to my live page and view my meeting right here so now you can see right here that i have important meeting right here this is the meeting that i just created right now i can copy the link and share it with uh, whoever i wanted to share with now i can create an event type like for example 15 these are the different event meetings that we already have like a 16 minute uh, a 60 minute a 15 or 30 if i want to add another these are the customized you know templates so it becomes really easy for you to just go ahead and add a few things and then you are ready to set your meeting now i also have added this template right here so you can use these template as well like a 16 minute one or a 30 minute one as well so this is how you create an event on your calendly and you can schedule it out to you know work better and you just saw that calendly actually allows you to create these very professional meetings and you can manage them better in integrations you can go ahead and add integrations to your calendly as we saw you can add zoom you can add microsoft teams or any other uh, you know integration you want to add once you have added the integrations then it will become more easy for you to use calendly so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you i wanted to show you how to use calendly.com don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel